everyone. I'm on my way to Osaka. I'm off today. But I'm going on this one street. I live on the other side of those mountains to the right. So it's like maybe a 40 minute drive. But anyway, I just took this one road just to see what was going on. And here they have some uh, vegetables growing out here. I don't know what these are. But in Japan though, they just grow in these little fields and stuff, you know. It's the rice over there. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's so beautiful over here too. They got a house. Probably original house, I guess. And it's real cool. And here, some more. And these people, you know, they just, well, I wouldn't say these people, but the farmers and everything, they just grow these, sell their food, and they, they make a lot of money doing this, you know? And it would be good if uh, we can do it in the States. You know, one thing I always thought about when they talk about slavery and stuff, what happened was real bad, but and then everyone left and went to the cities and stuff. But the whole thing is everybody in the world throughout history has always, everyone has been farmers or whatever. The only thing is we just didn't get paid for it, but we were good at what we did. The artisans, the, you know, the guys that built those um, plantation homes and all this stuff. You know, the black people did that. They said about 90% of those homes and those plantations were made by black men. And uh, they weren't stupid, you know, they were not stupid. And a lot of people might talk a lot of crap, but, you know, if uh, those slave owners back in those days were really honest and were, um, you know, I want jobs for the white man, they would have had white men doing that stuff. And they would have paid them. And they wouldn't have needed us to come over here and do that stuff. But the, where did they do that? Because then they had the, um, they didn't have the knowledge. But, you know, you guys just got to read, read about it. Stuff. We were forced into slavery and stuff because a lot of things that um, we knew in Africa, a lot of them didn't know it, you know. I ain't saying all of them didn't know it, but a lot of them didn't know it. But it was, it was pretty interesting, you know. Let's see what else, uh, what's something else I wanted to say? Uh, uh, wow, well, every time I... Um, I'm driving around thinking about this stuff. Oh, yeah, do you guys know what was going on? Like before the slaves uh, trade started in Africa? What was going on? I mean, when it started, what was going on in Africa? Do you guys know? See, everybody always talking about, you know, like them clowns talking about how they were happy white man brought us over here and all that stuff. Took us out of Africa. But you guys don't even know what was going on in Africa. They had universities, cities, economical systems, all that stuff. It was, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was a wonderful place to be. It wasn't what it is, how it is now. You know, the Europeans went around because they were financially broke, like what's going on in America, and their whole objective was to go out and uh, find a route to the um, to the uh, spices trade and all that stuff, and steal the money because they were going broke. And the Muslims, I guess the Muslims, and they weren't all uh, what they look like in Iran instead they were black too. Probably the majority of them black. They see Islam, you know, it's only Islamic by, uh, how can I say that? Uh, anyway, majority of the Muslims back in those days were black. And, um, and uh, let's see what happened. Was yeah, they were black. And they were the ones that went and spread it around the world. Black men. It wasn't like what they look like now. What would they show on TV now? Because there's a lot of black people still over there. But we don't see them because they don't show it to us. You know. But it's all rice and stuff. But yeah, even like during the slavery, when it started and stuff, while it was starting doing good, even in Spain, black men were over there. The Berbers, I think they're called. They were still ruling Spain. And they were ruling Spain for over 800 years. And all the glory, all the glory that comes from Spain was from when they were there and what they built and constructed. After they got um, defeated because the guy, the black ruler, his brother was jealous and white people went over there and conquered, divided and conquered and stuff. You know, they took, because they couldn't fight. They had all those knights and stuff, but they're getting their asses kicked by the black knights. 
And uh, the king said, hey, stop going over there fighting the one-on-one because we're losing our best men to them. And he just went over to the brother and said, hey, you know, you help us defeat your brother, and then we will give you land. And so he did that, and as soon as his brother was defeated, they just reneged on him, and then they um, threw him and everybody else into slavery. You know, it was all because slavery was nothing but prop for financial. It was financial purposes. You know, if you're in France and Spain, northern Spain, all them other places, we're not so greedy. Or I don't know. I mean, as you read a lot about it, especially like up in England, it wasn't nothing going on in England. You know, it really wasn't nothing going on in there, going on up there, and uh. And if I read this book called The um, Wealth of Nations, and you know, as I, as I was reading, it has a lot of a lot of historical facts, I guess, a lot of historical data in there, you know. And that was really, really interesting. I mean, it was really interesting, you know, how they just used all the slave labor to uh, make profit, you know. And that's all. Everything they making now but basically what I'm saying is though it's even though um, we don't really have too much power and stuff even though I'm the president but still majority of us don't you know all we have to do is you know get together you guys hanging on the streets and in the corners and stuff you know get some books and everybody take turns reading it you know dictionaries change your language you know you're saying you sound white a lot of brothers my uh, I don't want to sound white and stuff like that but it's an English language and actually the English language isn't even English 80% of it is foreign French Latin I guess that would be Italian or something like that you know so you're not even speaking they're not even speaking their own language you know but it's a histor historical thing I think it was William some some guy some French guy from Normandy or something came over and helped them because they could defeat the people from the north and on that island and stuff and they when I've defeated the people and took over England. You know, even the Romans said, you know, they were too too dumb to uh too stupid to be slaves. And that's the whole thing. Nobody don't enslave people that were stupid or unintelligent. Back in those days, if you were slave, most people enslaved intelligent people. You know, you can't you can't uh enslave someone that don't know nothing about any professional skills or anything and then try to make them build something you know it's just not going to work you know so all i'm saying is you know what these people are doing we're on their own food we can do the same thing when i was young living in inglewood you know my mom she had us in the back planting stuff and look at those eggplants over there it's pretty cool I mean, had us plant and stuff, and this stuff grows, and you just eat your own food and stuff. You know, if you want to do business, you guys have to get passports and go around the world and see what they're doing. Because in Indonesia and a lot of other places, you know, they buying things. You know, they manufacturing things. You know, you get a shirt, you send it to Indonesia. You get some uh, people that's going to invest. You know, you get it made in Indonesia, Thailand, or wherever you want to get it made. You got to ship it over. You know, and. You know, all that stuff takes money, and if you got a good product, people are going to invest. And that's all it is, it's a lot of investments, you know. But a lot of people are always talking about us and slavery, but that's not where we started from. We started in Africa. We need to go back before Africa, before, I mean, not before Africa, before slavery, and see what was going on. Then maybe you have a better perception, or you can understand things better, because, uh, It's, it's just, it'll just help us think better, you know. You know, I come over here and, you know, I was reading and stuff and come over here and I see how these Japanese people are imitating us, and our clothes, and, and all these older people in their 50s and 60s know about jazz and all this stuff, you know, and that stuff, you don't, it takes years to learn that stuff, you know. So, all I'm just saying is, you know, we can go back to where we were. You know, but we gotta grab onto the path to what was going on in Africa before us. So. Alright, I'm out. Peace.